Well, that's different. You can actually see me because it's daylight and I'll never record these during the day. As you can see, I've got my telescope right over here. It's under the Telegizmo 365 cover. And I will not be uncovering that to sketch tonight because if you look up at the sky, you can see it behind me. It is a little cloudy out. Yeah, just a little bit. Hey, wait, there's a patch of blue. That means nothing though. So if it's cloudy, what the heck am I doing out here? Well, I'm not doing anything except for recording this intro. I am going to head inside and I am going to see if I can find a moon crater image that I can use to sketch from just so I can get some practice in. I recently purchased a black paper notebook that I want to use to practice sketching moon craters. I figure I may as well do a practice run inside where it's warm rather than do a practice run outside at the telescope when it's really freaking cold outside. So anyway, let's go and try to find a picture of a moon crater and get on with the sketch. I was trying to find a good moon crater image that I've taken, and since I can't find any good ones, this one's going to have to do. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head the name of these three craters, so I'm going to have to look that up, and I'll put that up on the screen here so you can see what they're called. And these are the three that I'm going to attempt sketching. Or maybe I'll only sketch one. Who knows? We will see when I get to it. I'm a little bit afraid of sketching moon craters because it's a lot of detail and despite what you or others might think, I am not an artist. So first let's have a look at the gear I'm going to use to do this sketch and then we will start sketching. So I've got black pastel pencils. I've got my gray, uh, regular gray pencils. Um, some sandpaper to sharpen the pencil tip, a sharpener to sharpen, some smudge brushes, Q-tips, my white pastel pencil, and my white charcoal pencil, my kneaded eraser, and a regular eraser. And then obviously my black pad of paper, and my little camera that I use to record all my time lapses. There it is. So that's what I'm using. That's the setup. So I'm going to actually grab my light and hook that on here just so it's brighter here, even though I have a light on. That'll help make it more visible. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's start the sketch. So I started off by making an outline of the inner portion of the crater and kind of just marking things off and filling it in. And I went through and did that for all three craters. And then afterwards, I'm going to go through and do the outer or upper wall of the crater. I don't really know what I'm doing as far as sketching on black paper goes. I'm really used to working in the other direction, marking off only dark spots. It's really weird laying down the bright features, and that's going to take a lot more work for me to get used to it. I kept wanting to draw in the the shadows and fill them in, but I actually just had to leave that part blank. And I did end up filling in the black paper with the black charcoal pencil, as you see there, while I'm doing the Terminator. Um, now, with this moon sketch, the final reveal is a little less revealing because you can see it clear as day, but let's check that out. And here is the final sketch after scanning it, and I did just a slight adjustment to it, and that was pretty much all there is to it. So this is my first sketch on a black piece of paper using white pencils and white charcoal and black pastel and white pastel. It was just... It was mind-boggling. It was really difficult, and I chose a really difficult target for my first one. I'm glad I wasn't outside doing this because this took me roughly an hour and a half. What I uh, actually timed was an hour, and I think I was working for about half an hour before I decided to time it. Anyway, that about wraps up this sketch video. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, hit that like button, because obviously you, you have to like it if you made it this far into the video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and clear skies.